there's food. Oh. We love feeding the neighborhood cats over here. <laughs> okay. Where are you going? Oh, is it time to feed? Okay. Hi. Hello. Aww. 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 Enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your lunch and we'll leave you to it. Bon appetit. It has been a month since we've traveled thousands of miles away from home and landed here in Malaysia. For the past month, we've been staying outside of KL. We're actually in PJ. It's more of a local neighborhood where a lot of our local friends stay in and around this area. We really like it. It's about a 20 minute walk to the LRT. You know, for some locals, that's kind of far, but for us, just nice. So there's a lot of great food here at an affordable price. Yeah, immediately. And then in the surrounding areas, a lot of great food around here. PJ may even have better food than KL proper. Sorry, KL. <laughs> so yeah, this has been our life in Malaysia where we've been living for a month and like locals. Let's start off with a view from our Airbnb rooftop. So this place is not here all the time but sometimes they're posted here and today is a day that they're here. So maybe we're gonna go get some fruits like bananas because we love our bananas. One kilo of seven ringgit. Ah, link today, this is In other places. You need to go five ringgit. And up. That's it. chicken here too but um, it's nice because everything here you take a little price tag usually it's like one ring at 70 cents per portion but the real magic happens at their cash register because he's like well okay you never know what's gonna be at the end and this is all 23 ringgit all together that's about under six bucks and you get soup or you get water and tea whichever uh, drinks you prefer our office workers over here they come here for lunch it's very busy during the week that's our lunch number one lunch is not done yet good thing we are in this place that has also a medan solera medan solera it is a food court here in malaysia where a food court has so many varieties of food so what we normally get here are vegetables now we need to get more protein food here in Malaysia there is no shortage of it everyone loves to eat here it's round two for lunch and we're getting proteins beautifully at the Savannah Salera it's got all types so you have Chinese you have Indian Pakistani Malay uh, Padang food you have a big variety here it's pretty incredible it's full of locals Greg ordered a laksa this is a Siam laksa, so it's a mix of Assam, sour, and creamy. Ooh, thank you. Ooh, especially cabbage on And here's our tandoori chicken. Tandoori chicken. With cabbage. It's our favorite stalls in this Madan Salera. So, you know, our Siam laksa, which is Assam, sour, mixed with coconut milk, so it's creamy. And we also have our tandoori chicken. Ooh, get fresh out. It's Pakistani style. Cha cha cheese naan, you gotta go there. And lumki laksa for this one. Let's dig in. So much going on in this one bowl. This tandoori chicken is always good. Never missing anything. It's so juicy. Very meaty. This is also the breast part. We love the breast part. You order breast and you can taste all flavors in there and then that's a good chicken. The chutney is out of this world. Oh my god. Mm. That's so good. You can eat here every day. We almost have that too. Start off with mixed rice, finish up with tandoori. So as we get one each. Mm -hmm. 
afternoon fix for Greg mm -hmm. and also for me. A yep. mostly Greg. It's uh, iced chum, so it's part coffee, part tea. A little bit of the evaporated milk in here. Asked for very little sugar. It's from the Jom Kopi truck. It's always here every day. We love it. Been hooked on it. Cheers. been wearing Tavas for such a long time well actually two years three yeah, years about two years and it's kind of giving up on me so I need it fixed some grocery items that we cannot find on the roadside we usually go to the grocery stores like Jaya Grocer or Village Grocer where there's plenty of selections varieties of fish meat and produce we found that meat and produce here in Malaysia is more cheap than fish or seafood which tends to be more expensive we don't cook anyway, so we don't buy them. So it's about 6.30 in the afternoon and we are heading to the gym. Salvador's Boxing Academy is that you can either join in for a group class or a private session. If you are a pro boxer, you are also welcome here since they do train to fight. Meet Bob. That's Bob. And downstairs, CrossFit. They are for beginners and pro boxers. After an intense boxing workout, we typically dine out with our friends for dinner. 